Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Kara, and welcome to the cage. We are firing up Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I played through this a little bit already uh, for funsies. I'm going to start up a new game here, but I'm a huge Mario fan, big fan of it, and um, this has been an awesome game, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So, without too much more, let's get going. These episodes will probably be broken up into about eh, 15, 20 minute parts, so hopefully you guys enjoy. In the skies above Peach's castle. I will say, Bowser looks pretty dapper in his suit. I've never played... I didn't play this detached. I did this with uh, handheld mode. And I'm kind of worried that I... Won't be able to handle it with detached mode. We'll see. If I have to, I got a, a grip that I'll turn on. <gasps> Our hat! Look around. Yeah, this is definitely strange in detached mode, not gonna lie. Man, this game looks good. I mean, they started off with this game. Just, I love the color schemes already. Sorry for running late, away like that. You startled me, and I startle easily. Saw what happened to you earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cat Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a trouncing. It makes matters worse. Your friend has kidnapped my little sister. <laughs> I'd, I'd hope to give the chase to that monster in a ship of my own. Fortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. Although now that I think of it, I'm fairly certain a functioning ship is in the next kingdom over. I thought we could use... Oh, if I could get us there only if you could reach the top of Hat Tower, which is being guarded by monster henchmen. You know, it seems after some, or after the same thing, perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can help those two. Right? Oh no, my hat! <laughs> Not your style. How about this? And there we go. <laughs> Cappy is now your companion. During that cutscene, I had to switch back. I switched back to the grip controller. I just couldn't do it. 
It was almost too much. I, I, I mentally cannot do it. Shake it to throw it. I'm going to press Y to throw it. Press and hold, and that will keep the hat out there. What's in here? I never went, I never really searched around. Holy crap. Dang, son. Probably the hat. Huge bank. I've talked to several people about this, but this game definitely feels like the direct sequel to something like uh, Mario 64. Just how it plays and how things handle and how they look, it makes me feel like that's the, that's how this is. Did. Oh, there's another light up here. Just for funsies. Gosh. I haven't played it on the TV yet, so this looks even better than handheld mode. Man. Nice work. Whee. Bada boom. I love that we can actually destroy the little posters and things. That just makes me laugh so hard. What was that? Did I do something good? Inside Top Hat Tower. Look at that. We're making the money now. All these coins. And then we get to use our first little possession. <laughs> this is a trippy. Oh my. I love how they still give it the mustache and even the eyes a lot of times. It just, it, it makes me laugh so hard. coins I only played maybe 10 or 15 minutes like right through this first part here so I'm really excited to see how far it goes and really how much more changes because up to this point it's been just freaking awesome oh it's just been so fun this is definitely if Zelda's not your thing and you still love Nintendo, obviously you're probably a Mario fan, and this is worth buying the Switch for. Among other games, don't get me wrong, there's tons of games that I love on the Switch. Stardew Valley? 
it's a great option. If you're a Switch owner, you should be playing Stardew Valley on the Switch. You'll thank me. Your loved ones might not, but uh, you'll thank me. All right. So I believe, there we go. Ta-da. It gives us six hits now instead of the normal three. Actually, jump on the half too, if I remember. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm back. I love how independent the hat can be. Hold on here before I go up that way. I want to check out over here. Because the hat itself is just so independent. You can throw it, keep it out there, bring it back in. I Again, you can... Oh, no, I missed all those coins. Dang it. I was worried if that was going to happen. I also love that, I mean, just in general... I can keep it out there, run around, shoot it back to me. Here we go. <laughs> Heh! The boss warned me there'd be a fellow with a mustache coming along. Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We need wedding planners for the happy couple. Happy is used loosely here. Don't worry about that. They call us... Rodars? I don't know. I'm sure I pronounced that incorrectly. We got that treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business to to these parts. But of course, roughing up good two shoes meddlers was on the contract, so I guess the little work is to do. Take a while. Guess what we got to do here? Hats off. Bada boom. Good old fashioned three person trounce in here. Sir? And away we go. That would be better if I would have actually hit it. There we go, title screen. Cascade Kingdom, Fossil Falls. <laughs> Not so soft of a landing there. Our first power moon. Whoa, yeah, what a ride! We made it to the Cascade Kingdom. Sorry, still a bit amped from capturing the, or from capturing the power line. Must connect, collect myself. There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, easy enough. As always, there's always tons of goodies and things to look at. Oh! There we 
go. Three of 50, huh? Those though. Oh, can we? Can we get him? Oh, we can. Hold the wind up. Release flying scent. Out of boom. Behind behind these things. Oh, that was totally not what I was trying to do. Sorry, Chomp. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, let's grab this. We got a moon! Our first power moon. There we go. That chomp's still trying to get me. Multi moon atop the falls. So again, very much like a, a Mario 64. It is a everything's kind of named from what I can tell. Little splatters of water on our screen there. I'll give a, a back and forth between if I'm doing commentary or not on, on read the dialogue. I'm always not the best reader in the world, and I do apologize for that, so I'll just commentate as we go, probably. Well, of course we can find more around here. We need four more moons to make this ship go again. So, I think that's a good place to pause this episode, and woo! Pick it up in the next one. So, appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you so much. Again, hit the video like. It does help us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because we have tons of videos going on over there. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.